Hi kids, welcome back. My name is Sunshine and I'm a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari. And I thought it would kind of be fun to just film a dollar haul video. And these items, even though they all only cost a dollar, they aren't all from Goodwill. They're from various places that I've sourced over the past week and I'm excited to share with you what I found. So we're gonna start off with this pair of Capri jeans by Daniel Jeans. Never heard of the brand. And unfortunately, it doesn't have a size tag in it. I think they measured out to be a six or an eight. I can't remember now. But I picked them up because they have all this bling and embroidery. And across the back. I mean, how awesome is that? Especially up here, you very rarely see this up here on the back yoke. So yeah, they're Capri length in excellent condition and hopefully I'll be able to move those for around $25, but we'll have to see. Then I found some cashmere. This is by Kirkland Signature, which I think is a Costco brand, and but I don't really care, it's cashmere. It is a size medium. This is pretty seafoam green, cable knit, long sleeves. There were no holes, but it does have moderate pilling. And I did take a sweater shaver to it, but I'm not gonna invest a bunch of time into it. So I'm hoping it'll bring at least 25, but we'll have to see. Okay, and this one I protected in its own bag because this may be real fur. I doubt it, but it might be. And I've never heard of this brand. It's called Angel Collection in a size small. If you guys have heard of it, let me know. But it is this gorgeous black ribbed button front fur collar, which like I said, is probably fake cardigan sweater in excellent condition. I mean, how cute is that? So hopefully I will get at least 25 for that. Then I picked up this. <laughs> Let me see if I can get it together. This is Cupio in a size medium. And it is just a gorgeous Shaw waterfall cardigan. Open front. Look at the gorgeous details on the back of this. And it has the scallop tim. So you could even wear this as a pool cover up. I think it had uh, short sleeves. I'm not sure now, no, it could be sleeveless. But yeah, I'm gonna pick that up and try to sell it for around 20, 25. Then I found, this is Celestial Dreams, have no clue, in a size extra large. But I thought this was so stinking cute and it has the embroidery around the scoop neck and it's like a seersucker material. Has the elastic waist. I think it was a midi length. And I am, it's, it has a zip front and pockets. So I'm assuming this is a house dress. Whoops, don't wanna knock over the coffee. But it's so cute and it's in excellent condition. So hopefully at least 25 for that. And then I picked up, this is Terra and Sky, size 2X. I think that's Walmart. I, I get them confused, Walmart and Target. So it is this gorgeous striped linen blend, button front shirt in a good size. And it has the tie at the bottom for a little detail. So I'm hoping to get at least 20 for that, probably more along the lines of 17. I just got this listed and I'm probably too late for this 4th of July, but oh well. So it's a foundry in a size, uh-oh, I better go change that listing. I put these for three X in my listing. Hopefully nobody buys them before I finish this video. So they're foundry in a four X and they are patriotic swim trunks 
in excellent condition and a great size and their cargo. So they have the cargo pockets and they have the mesh brief. So that's always a bonus. I want to put that in the title because there's men out there that look for that. So I don't know, hopefully at least 25 for those. They found a pair of jeans. These are soft surroundings in a size petite medium. And they have this elastic inner waistband. When I touched them, I kind of thought of, um, shoot, I can't even think of the name now, but anyway. So yeah, oh, Spanx. I thought of Spanx, because that's what they feel like. So they are just capri or ankle length. They have two back functioning pockets in excellent condition. So hopefully $20 for those. Oh, I feel seersucker. Time for a drink already. It is 110 degrees. Well, I think it may be 115 today. Yes, it's hot in the desert. Okay, so this is, I have no idea and I can't read that. Something James in a size medium. You guys will probably be able to see it better. And it is just a seersucker high neck, sleeveless, empire waist top. And I think it's lined. Yep, it's lined. There are people out there that really look for seersucker in the summer. So hopefully I can move that for around 20. Then I found, if I can get it together, I love it when I pull stuff out and can't get it together. And this is <laughs> Intro. Now I think this is an anthropology brand, but I'm not sure. So it's Intro in a size large. This is so beautiful. It's a lightweight gauzy, has the crochet trim, has a floral print, it's kind of tiered with more crochet down near the hem. And it does have a high-low hem and it's in excellent condition. Look at how pretty that is. So hopefully at least 25 for that. And then I picked up this belt and I couldn't see who it was by. I thought it said Chico's. So I had to ask another shopper. <laughs> she goes, yeah, it's Chico's. The thing is, it doesn't have a size on it. So it's a snake belt. So it's got the chain and then it's got this clasp closure. I mean, you could even wear it as a necklace. So it's really stretchy like a slinky and it's gold. And I don't know what it's worth, maybe $20. I'll have to wait and see. Then I found this gray size small snow leopard cardigan. I think it had three, four sleeves, button front. I think Grace is a Macy's brand. I can't remember now. It's either Macy's or Nordstrom's. So it has like the enamel buttons. And yeah, I'm hoping for at least 20 for that. And then I found this, I had no clue about this till I ran comps and looked it up. It's She Beast. I have no clue how to say that. She's a beast. She beast. In a size large. So it's a cycling jersey. It's got the zip neck. And it has an all over frog lily pad print. Now when I got this, it had a uh, chain stains all down it and I got them all out but a light one so it has two pockets on the back and it has your branding on the sleeve and down near the hem and I can't remember now what the comp said for this but hopefully at least twenty dollars okay then I found something cute and this is Margaritaville. So we got some Jimmy Buffett shorts in a size 38. So 
So they got the two back pockets. There's the little logo. Actually, yeah, his Margaritaville must have a parrot. And I don't know what these are going for. Maybe 20 bucks. But I wanted to pick them up and give them a try because I know um, Tommy Bahama shorts don't do too bad. So we'll see how his other line does. So this dress I've been eyeing for a while and they have it on their um, designer rack. And I wasn't going to pay more than a dollar for it because it doesn't have a name. It has no tags at all. But why I liked it was because it's semi-sheer. It's like perforated. And it's a maxi dress. It's perfect pull cover up. It's got the high slits on the side. Elastic waist. I mean, you could wear like a cami dress under this, you know, but I think it would be a great pool cover up. So hopefully 2025 for that. And then I found some maroon shorts by Anika. Cutter and Buck, I have no clue. Size 12, I know they're golf shorts. Oh, actually, is this a skirt? Oh, it's a skirt. Okay, so it's a maroon golf skirt. In excellent condition. And I don't remember now what that brand brings, but I'm thinking 17 to 20. We'll just have to wait and see. Then I picked up this because I couldn't leave her behind. So it's a little strawberry shortcake. And she's got all her clothes. She's in really good condition, except she has a hole in her foot from the sensor tag. It's a tiny, tiny hole right here. But other than that, she's in excellent condition. And I think she's from 2016, so she's not a... Uh, Vintage, but she was put out for their 40th anniversary, 50, 50th maybe, anniversary. So, I don't know. Hopefully, she'll bring at least $15. But until then, she looks cute displayed in my house. In fact, I'm going to set her right beside me. Then I picked this up because we all know I'm wackadoodle. So, this is Alex Ken, size medium. And it's vintage. There's your shoulder pads. So it's a lightweight linen toggle front, long sleeves. It's got patchwork, embroidery. This would be perfect for the fall for like Halloween. It's got so many Halloween colors. I don't know why I picked these up. Nobody ever buys them, but they're so cute. Eventually I hope to find a buyer who gets my taste. But until then, I'm still picking them up. Okay, so now we have a pair of golf shorts. These are Callaway Opti Dry. Do they have a size? These may be the ones that didn't have a size either. But I picked them up because of this gorgeous ombre plaid print. And they were Callaway. So it looks like they're the V series by that little embroidered V. And they have the V on the back for the belt loop. So yeah, I don't know what these will bring, hopefully 17 to 20. Then I found some Land's End square rigger jeans in a size 33. I've never heard of that square rigger, but I have to look these up. And I think they're capris. In really good condition. And like I said, I wanted to get them because they were so cheap and I want to look it up and it says slim fit, hmm. but they're, they make really good jeans lands in. So hopefully $20 at least. And I very rarely pick up lingerie cause it doesn't sell for me anyway, but I couldn't leave this one behind. It's so cute. So this is Delta Burke in a size three X. So it's a good size. And it, it's probably vintage because Delta Burke did her line in the 80s and I don't think it's being made still. So it has all the beautiful lace 
the lace sleeves, the lace in the front, semi sheer, polka dot, and it's in a good size. So I don't know. Hopefully twenty dollars. We'll see. I haven't sold lingerie in so long. I have no clue what the market's like, but I'm getting ready to find out. Okay, next thing is Bobby Brooks in a size six. No, that's not six. Oh, in a size large. That makes more sense. So yeah, denim shirt, button front, short sleeves, pretty embroidery gets me every time. This one is a beach scene. She does some amazing embroidery on her shirts. I mean, amazing. So yeah, I have trouble moving these. Eventually they sell, but I have trouble moving them. I'm hoping this one sells just because we're in the season for it. So hopefully around $20 for that. Found another pair of golf shorts. These are men's. Oh no, they're not, they're women's. I didn't know Izod sold women's shorts. So they're Izod in a size 10. They are purple plaid, lilac purple, so pretty. Why not look good while you're out there on the golf court? Or on the golf court, on the golf court, not playing tennis. Of course, you could use these for tennis, I guess. So yeah, hopefully at least $20 for those. Oh, and it has this matching enamel button. Really lightweight. You could wear them as casual shorts too. Then I picked up score upon scores. Thank you, Melinda, for turning me on to this. I forgot your name. How could I do that? Because you're the one that told me this brand was good. So this is Royal Robins in a size 10. And this is like a khaki color tan beige. So it's a, it, to me, I thought it was a cargo skirt, but it's called the Discovery 2 skirt. And they say it's a travel skirt. I don't know. I thought this was some kind of active wear, but it'd be a great travel skirt because it's lightweight, probably comfortable. Plus you have all them pockets and it's got this little flounce at the hem. So cute. So this is an expensive brand, but I don't know what the resale is because I've never sold it. But, you know, for a dollar, I'm gonna pick it up and try it out. Then I found another one, same size, different color. So this one's tan, more of a tan brown. Back zipper. Oh, it's got mesh lining too around the uh, waistband, moisture wicking. In really good condition. I'd be surprised if either one of these were ever worn, but so I don't know. I think I have these listed for 30 and I'm pretty sure that's at or a little bit above the comps. So we'll see how well that does. And then I picked up a sweater because it's so cool. Never heard of it. Donna or something. I don't even know how to pronounce it. In a size medium. But I just love the colors on this. It's um, It's got like teal and blue and black and it's an abstract print, like a ski sweater. No big fabric, I don't think. No, it's acrylic. And I'm pretty sure it's vintage, but I'll ha I need to do a little bit more research to make sure. But yeah, I wanted to pick this up because eventually, you know, we're gonna need sweaters again. In my case, where I live, I probably won't need a sweater till November, December, but eventually I'll need one. Okay, kids, that's my dollar haul. I hope you, oh, wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> okay, even though these weren't a dollar, I wanna include them because they were $2. Are you ready? Look at these boots I got for $2. And I'm thinking this from what research I did, this is real crocodile skin. So it's got all the embroidery. This is all leather, whereas usually that's suede. And excellent, excellent condition. 
So I look inside their Hondo boots. Now I've kind of heard of that before, but I'm not sure they're still being made. I can't remember. But these were sold or made, or one or the other, at Joe's in um, Texas. And these are custom boots, custom made boots for men, or they were. I don't know if they still are. Problem is, it didn't have a size in it. Because they're custom made, I guess, I don't know. But I held them up to my feet. My husband wears a 10, so I kind of can tell what size they are by that. And I thought, oh, these are probably right around a 10. So I get them home and he tries them on. They're 10 and a half. So that's pretty close. But these are in excellent condition. And for $2, I was definitely going to pick them up. And do you know the comps on these are well over a hundred and some of them go up to $400. So yeah, Bolo brand, Hondo. Let me see if I could find it for you. Hondo boots. See, it says it does have some discoloration on the inside. But whoever had these had insoles in them. So the insole, what's left is immaculate. I mean, he kept these boots in immaculate condition. So here's the other one. If you guys know what that print is, let me know. I know there's a guy that watches my videos. If you know what that print is, if you think it's crocodile, let me know in the description, please. I would greatly appreciate it. Okay, kids, that's it for my dollar haul. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing, and I will see you on the next one.